Welcome back to Samsung Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today we're gonna play Oaken Fall. This is a turn based combat game with a time scrubber, which means that you are allowed to redo or undo any of your action. And the idea is that it's, it has a sort of like puzzle like element where you have to figure out the right solution, and this allows you to try it out different mechanics. Now, I, in my test game, I played at the scientific, and it had some really unusual abilities. You were able to place this drone who was sort of jumping in the direction that you placed it continuously, and this allowed you to sort of hit or jump on top of enemies. And this game is very much about, you know, displacing enemies, uh, crushing them, pushing them. Uh, standing on a tile where another enemy would emerge so that they can block the emergent and you won't get another thing so it's it there's a lot of strategic stuff to this one i'm gonna play as somebody else because i want to try something different so we're gonna be playing as this uh, survival one asia she learned her flexible survival skills from her father and hardened radical man Aisha took after him, preferring practicality over flashiness, a skill set designed to get the job done effectively. We'll be playing on normal difficulty. Alright, so let's just jump here into a location. The game is also very unusual, like death mechanic. Obviously you die if your health goes to zero, but you also have these crates, and these are the crates that you need to go um, to move away from this world and to survive. And if you run out of crates, you die. And uh, every time you start a new combat, your health will refresh to full, but your amount of crates will stay whatever it was. So if it goes to zero, you will die. Okay, so uh, there are three ways, and then you will be teleporting to a new location. Uh, you will also, you have six, uh, like 12 actions every turn, which you can see up here. And once you get to the sixth action, your abilities will refresh. You can also time banks your leftover actions, and this will allow you to use the actions uh, for like different upgrades. It, was, it, it will give you like um, it will give it will move it to you here to this like time bank you collect, and you can use this to create items, upgrade, or to escape difficult situation. So this is where I am, and this is what the enemy will do. So this enemy will go and hit this crate, and this enemy will push into this crate. And there are a couple things you can do. You can use a power glove, so this will deliver a heavy punch that deals damage and pushes the target away. I can use a hook, throw a hook that damages the target and pulls them one tile toward you. And I can throw a grenade that damages your target and pushes a unit on adjacent tiles away. So for example, so and I have to be in a straight line to this. So for example, I could move here and I can use the power glove to push this guy away. So now he'll be pushing here, so that means he will not hurt my crate. These are tiles where new enemies will show up. Unfortunately, I do not have a way to get this guy there, but if someone was standing there, they would take damage. So you definitely don't want to be standing there, but if there were other people, the enemies there, it would be quite useful. Uh, I can use this after four turns. But what I could do is I could simply move here and I could use a hook to push this, this guy toward me. Now at this point I'm going to use a power glove which will kill him. Now we'll jump over here and this is an energy we collected which we can use to get items. Here at this crafting station you can craft new items. But I don't think we want to do that. Now we can now throw a grenade. Oh, okay so we'll move this way. Throw a grenade. Oh, if I throw a grenade, I'll push him back. That's a problem, so I can't do that. So I have to... Ooh, that's interesting. It only deals one damage, so it wouldn't kill him either. So we could move one step further and throw the grenade. Oh, I can't throw it here because it's too close. All right, in that case, we'll just get ready over here and we'll wait. So they move, nothing bad really happens, and new enemies show up over here. So here I'm going to try to... Ooh, interesting. So it would be great to place a grenade where I'm standing. So let's actually do that. Let's throw a grenade. Oh, I have to go so much further away than I anticipated. Let's throw a grenade there. So this guy won't hit a crate, but these two still will. Thinking if I move to here, I can throw another grenade there which would push them 
Yeah, I think that would work. And then we'll take a step back and we'll use the hook to push this guy towards me. And at this point, there's nothing else for me to do. So I'm just going to time bank the rest of this turn and just wait. Okay. Now I can move here and kill this guy pretty easily with a push. I think we'll start with that. Grab the energy. I can move here and hook him closer. So we, we, we saved ourselves from that guy. And then... I'll move here, throw a grenade. Oh, I have to move a step back. Okay, throw a grenade there. But we won't be able to stop this one. Because we just can't get there in time. Okay, well, that's okay. We could have redone this and went back in time, but I don't think we need it. We'll just lose one crate. That's okay. And then at that point, the game uh, ended. Alright, next we're gonna go to uh, another mission. Okay. Row of Packer initialized. We have to have enemies attack each other one time and have the Robo Packer finish his work. So he's assembling a new crate over here, so I need to kill this guy. I would love it if the enemies push it. So if I could push this guy there, I could do this. I could. So let's try to throw a grenade. No, I can't. I will move here and push this guy away. Can I hook that one? No. Throw a grenade like this. Okay, this actually would kind of work. And then hook. I could simply wait three turns like this and then I will use a power glove to push this guy forward and then throw a grenade there and we, we drop them and I'm just gonna move towards this now we'll get some more enemies here the bug is hitting that crate this guy's hitting that. So if I throw a grenade, if I need one step closer, I can throw a grenade here to push him away. So we're good. So far, we haven't really been able to make them attack each other. I could move here and push this guy closer towards me, or I can move here and push him away. I think we're better off being like... Actually, I could just kill him like this. Being there is not useful, so I think we'll just try to go back as much as we can. Did you finish the crate already? I guess not. Okay, this would be great because we can make them attack each other, I think. So I will move here. I will push this one away. Take another step and throw a grenade. Oh, I can't throw a grenade here? Come on. But I could move here and push. And then throw a grenade. The hook only works at 2 to 3 range. Hmm. But he's hitting a crafting station technically and not a crate, which I'm, I think that doesn't count as a... Interesting. If I use the hook on this guy, it doesn't seem to hit my crate. So let's try that. Yeah. I think I'll just time bank the last one. Him hitting the crate will not destroy... Uh, sorry, the crafting station will not destroy my stuff. Okay, we didn't manage to make them attack each other, but we got a crate back because we let that guy finish his job. Now we could go to uh, normally fight enemies with no cyber objectives, or, or we can jump to... a. Uh, location with side, side objectives and we'd have to keep the rubble miner alive and have enemies try to attack each other again okay let's try that again hopefully i will also be able to craft some items this time no okay okay 
So this guy, so this is kind of interesting because he's moving like that forward. So, and how does his abilities work? Launches forward damaging and pushing the first target it hits. So, so pushing him backwards will not make a difference because he will still just keep moving unless I stand in the way. That's actually quite interesting. But if I stand in the way, then I will take damage and also take damage from standing on the spot. So I need to essentially pull this guy towards me. So if I move here, now there's a grenade. Oh, I should have used the hook first. And the hook. If I move here, I can use a grenade. Yeah, we, we won't be able to stop this one. So again, well, well, actually, let's let's actually let's undo this. Let's try to see if we can figure out a better way to do this. So we just go straight back to the beginning. And what could we do? So like, so I can push this one and then use a grenade. But the problem is I can't really throw a grenade close enough to him. That's a problem. And I don't think I have a way to bring this guy to me. So I think we just have to be standing here in order to make this work. So I can push this one. Wait, then I could move here. No, I don't think that's gonna work. And then I'll throw a grenade. Hook this one. Oh yes, I see. And now we push him and we just straight up kill him. Hmm. That was interesting. So this Robo Miner... You want to keep him alive, so that's good. So again, we would love this rammer to be attacking this burrow or, or the other way around. So we kind of need to push them towards each other. And then we need to push that guy away. But this rammer is the worst because he's doing a lot of damage. So I could push him and he will take damage from standing on the position. But I don't know if that damage goes first or second. We'll move here, we'll throw a grenade like this, and then we'll hook this guy. So this guy's dead. Now I need to move ahead so that I can throw a grenade. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so we'll have to go back. I need to throw a grenade here to push that guy away. Great. And then... I think we just gotta stand here, because remember, we... Uh, revive ourselves, so we wouldn't mind if we got hit by this guy. Okay, this one seems pretty... Oh, okay, let's just run away. I was gonna say, this one seems pretty easy. So, uh, this is a, a... Right. They turn into elite if... Uh, oh, I forgot how, why. There's like a specific reason why they turn into elites. But I can't remember it right now. I apologize for that. Let's, um... So we could just push this guy. But I think, okay, first let's throw a grenade there. And then we'll just push this one. And we can just push him again. We can't craft any items on this one, so let's just... Uh, actually, I think we should probably move a, at least a little bit back. So that we can be ready. Did the robot fixer finish this work? Okay, we, we finished. Great. Alright, now at this point, hopefully, we can start crafting. Because I really want to show it off to you. Come on! No! 
<laughs> okay, so this is kind of interesting. This is a sort of escape line, so you have to just kind of run away. But the thing on this one is that you only have two uh, two actions before they go. And there will obviously be more of them coming. Ooh, I wonder what would happen if I try to hook. Okay, let's throw a grenade there. I didn't know that you can straight up throw a grenade at somebody and we'll just move one step closer. That would be great if we could make them hit each other, that would be even better. Let's throw a grenade here and push them. And I gotta move away. Okay. You can throw a hook. Kill that guy and we'll move forward. Okay, I'm gonna start escaping. I think at this point we gotta start doing that. Push this guy. Ooh, what did I step on? Didn't seem to take any damage, but it was kind of weird. Okay, let's just keep running. And I'm gonna lead fight. Oh, and now there is a card. Uh, or crafting station. Prevent all right arm damage and prevent all left arm damage. Okay, so these big guys are hitting these areas. So this one is hitting an empty area, but this one is not. So we would definitely want to throw a grenade somewhere to... Um, try to push them. Also, we're going to have a problem with this crammer. And this weaver. This weaver does something similar with the attack that it just kind of hits continuously. So if we could push... Now the problem is, if I get the weaver this way, he will also hit... Well, actually no, he will probably hit the other guy. So let's give that a shot. Try to hook this one closer to me. Throw a grenade. They're both hitting the crate, but only one of them will, will actually destroy the crate, so... Or I could just kill this one, also. I don't know if I have the movement to that. Because I need to kind of get, like, there. I think I might let them both fight each other. And let's move towards the station. So I could craft the famous device. If the damage kills the target, you teleport to their location. And I can put that in one of my abilities. Or I can get Hook Crate Slipping. The greater ability no longer damages crates, allowing for targeted crates to be repositioned. Oh, that's great. So in one turn, I can simply reposition this crate and make them hit each other. So, but I, I have to go backwards. So I will just push this. And... Oh, but I don't have a way to... Hmm, I'm still gonna lose this crate here. So let's try to move that way. If I throw a grenade, it will... It does damage, but it doesn't do much else. But let's step in there so we can at least hit it next turn. Lost one crate, but I think that's fine. Alright, the Reamer killed the other thing. Okay. So this one's still hitting nothing. This one's hitting, oh, that crate. And this one's hitting this crate. So this, these crates need to move because I can't seem to move those guys away. So... But in order to hit this crate, I need to be here. And I also need to push this guy closer. So if I move to there... The hook has a range. Okay, so I will move to there. And I will hook you a step closer. Oh no! I thought it would actually... Okay, so let's go back. We'll throw a grenade. We'll move... We'll still lose one crate though. Okay, move here. I can push the crate towards me. 
Oh, and then I can push this guy away. Okay, great. And I will just time bank that. Oh, I remember. They get into Elite if they step onto this energy slot. So you don't want them to push into this energy slot. Okay. A grenade here. Grenade there will push that guy away. That's perfect. Then I can simply hook this towards me. Step over here and push this guy away. Step on there and throw a grenade onto the crusher. Can I hook the crusher? I don't necessarily know if that would do. Oh yeah, it broke his armor a little bit. Yeah. So they're almost out of armor, but we really gotta start hitting them. Alright, uh, this crate needs to be pushed away. Let's start with a grenade, though. Oof. I need to be pushing it away from this side, though. This is a slight problem. Hook this towards me. And I think I'll have to step here in front of this guy. Just to make sure that he doesn't hit me. And I'm not going to time bank. I'm just going to move a little bit closer so that we get a better chance of fighting this. This one is a little bit difficult. But it's an elite fight, so it's supposed to be. Good news? Okay, we're done. Okay. We did prevent all right arm damage, though. Still not sure what right arm damage is, but we made it. Also got an achievement, beat up the boss. So now we moved into the next area, and we can continue like this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, write down in the comments, and you can click on the right to watch some other games that we play on this channel. See you there. Bye-bye.